Ich bin schon. Oh. Hm. Also, okay. Assalamu alaikum, peace be upon you, everyone. Oud is the most beloved perfume ingredient in the Middle East and one of the most popular in the world. Can you first tell us the meaning of the word Oud? Oud is an Arabic word which literally means wood. Uh, since it is an Arabic word, you can find it spelled O-U-D or O-U-D-H, even A-O-U-D. It is the exact name when we are talking about Agawood chips. Agawood chips, oud, are used as an incense and the price may vary depending on the origin and the quantity of resin on the wood. From this wood, uh, there is a distillation process to make denel oud. Denel oud literally means the fat of the wood and it is the exact word when we are talking about the oud oil. Nowadays, uh, we use the word oud to talk about oud chips and also denel oud, so don't be surprised uh, when people are talking about oud may be about the chips or the oil. What about its origins? Oud comes from a particular tree species named agar or aquilaria trees. We find, as, we find them only in a particular place in the world, the southeast of Asia, in countries such as Thailand, Cambodia, Laos, Vietnam, India, to mention only a few. I have read in your blog that it is a dark and aromatic resin that forms in some trees when they become infected by a parasite or fungus. As the infection progresses, the tree produces a dark aromatic resin in response to the attack. Mm -hmm. Yes, nowadays most of the wood on the, mar on the market comes from sustainable plantations uh, where the mechanism process, defense mechanism process is done by human process. I mean, it can be, for example, a bark scrapping or even a nail hammered uh, to let the tree begin this process and produce this resin. And from that, another big question I think people uh, probably think about is why wood and agar wood is so expensive? The current global market for wood is growing very fast. But this raw material is rare and the time needed for the tree to produce the actual resin is very long. As a result, the Aquilia tree as a species population has actually reduced by 80% in the last 150 years. The uh, estimated annual market for oud is around $6 billion. Yes, yeah, $6 billion. This is why oud is also named the liquid gold. Let's talk about the scent. Warm and woody in general, Despite, depending on origin, the smell may change. Yes, and this is the perfect time to introduce our new perfumes from the collection Privé. Uh, we have decided to make something original in terms of approach to present new pure oud. So we brought six pure oud from six different origins and let's see the different profiles and introduce them. Uh, in details. So uh, I took the descriptions from the website. So Sheikh El Hindi. Yeah. Uh, it's a Sheikh El Hindi. Uh, yes, Indian oud. Yeah. The uh, description is a light animalic and strong woody, uh, strong woody with hints of smooth chocolate and sweet toffee. Yes, this is how it is described. So we have a leathery perfumes, but not too much. And you know, in general, also. Indian, Indian oud are known to, to have this kind of barny smell, if it makes sense for those who know about oud. This one, I would say, this kind of scent inside is very balanced. It's quite sweet for an Indian oud. Still strong, but uh, a good balance in it. Okay, uh, the next one is Cheryl uh, Malizi, Malaysian oud, and the description is classic and deep woody scent with a hint of floral notes and dry fruits. It's uh, slightly smoky and the deepness of the scent is the signature of Chef Al Medizi. Yes, very deep scent, very sweet. If you want to start in the world of pure oud, I would strongly advise you to try Chef Al Malizi. Malaysian oud, very sweet. The next one is Chef Al Burumi. Yes, oud from Myanmar. Alright, the description is wild trunk wood, resinous, leathery and a bit anemic. Oud from Burma is rare nowadays. 
The heart of the perfume offers a matured tobacco note, which is the signature of Sheikh Al Burmi. Yes, Sheikh Al Burmi, strong perfume, but very raw uh, oud oil. It's very hard to find nowadays uh, Burmi oud, and we are very glad to have the Sheikh Al Burmi in our collection. Okay, the next one is a classic, Sheikh Al Kambodi. Yeah, Sheikh Al Kambodi, Cambodian oud, of course. Okay, the description for this one is a smoky oud, a classic woody scent with hints of caramel and dry fruits. The heavy smokiness scent is the signature of Sheikh Al Kambodi. Yes, here we have very classic Cambodian oud, uh, thick oud, the, th the, most, uh, the most thick from the collection, uh, very long lasting, very high quality again. And uh, yes, smoky, woody, the classic scent of oud Kambodi. Okay, and the last one from this collection is Sheikh Al Lossi. Lossi, Lossi and Oud, very rare again. Okay, the description is a powerful Oud, woody and smoky, with a hint of bitter chocolate and honey with, to bring some sweetness. Oud oils from Laos have a particular blue cheese scent, which may surprise you if you're not familiar with the pure Laotian Oud. This note is not overpowering in this batch, but definitely gives the signature of Sheikh Al Lossi. Yes, very this description on the website is very interesting because we must mention there is this kind of uh, blue cheesy scent, you know. So if you don't know anything about oud, you will f you maybe think, what's wrong with them, you know? They are selling perfume with smell blue cheese. It's not like that, you know. But there is this this uh, how we call it this nuance you know nuance of uh, kind of cheesy uh, cheesy scent you find only on oud from laos when someone sell uh, oud from laos if you don't have this signature with a little uh, blue cheese scent it maybe it's probably not a oud from laos so it is a particular scent from this oud it is a beautiful oud very strong uh, don't worry when you wear it you are not going to smell cheese but you will find this uh, touch on the scent. Blue cheese. What is the difference with the Oud Revolution collection compared to the pure Oud? Very interesting question. So first of all, I just want to mention that the collection Privé, private collection from French, uh, is not limited to only Oud, but it is the highest quality you may find. Maybe in the future we'll find kind of Muscal Razal, for example. It's not limited to Oud. Now, the Oud Revolution collection is a collection inspired by Oud, where perfumes are around the Oud. So it's not only Oud in the scent. And I, I took two popular examples. For example, Oud Assam. Oud Assam, by the color even you can imagine, it is a combination of different ingredients, including Indian Oud and Indian Sandalwood. So even on the Oud Assam, the main notes is sandalwood, not Oud. But the name is Oud Assam, it is in the Oud Revolution collection because inspiration was around the Oud. Another uh, beautiful example I can give you is the Oud Sumatra. Oud Sumatra, Indonesian Oud. When you wear it, you can definitely feel like a classic Oud. But I have accentuated notes, green notes inside. Uh, with kind of vetiver, for example, and much more, but to make it even more fresh and more green than how it is usually. For example, when you use Oud Sumatra, you have a very close experience with an expensive Oud, but you will pay something definitely cheaper. You don't have only Oud inside, but you have no chemical. It's not diluted with anything else than perfume oils, so still a pure perfume. You have pure oud, you have pure perfume. And I think you see now the difference. So how do we use pure oud? Pure oud are applied like any attar oil, any perfume oil. So it is a very personal experience. It is something you wear for your own enjoyment. So it's more intimate than sprays. Yes, it's very, very different. And even I know that some people like to make combination between spray perfumes and oud oil, for example, to have amazing and very complex and first a very unique result. So how to apply? First thing, make sure your hands are clean. Then you will put on your pulse point. So behind your ears. Then you will 
dab a little bit here and you will rub a little bit not too much otherwise you will break the sand you know uh, you must rub because it is wood oil but if you do too much you will break the head knots so be careful even with a spray perfume it is the same thing be very careful when you do that then you will apply again a swipe and you will wear on your neck and your beard if you have a beard and not too much again not rubbing too much and with the what's remaining on your hand be very careful but you will put on your clothes i strongly advise you to be careful because it is oil and it make stain your clothes and now you smell good while i'm preparing this video i just realized i forgot to mention something very very important it is for wood oils or any other oil the bigger quantity of oil you will apply, the strongest scent you will have. So if you want a soft scent, just apply a little bit. A normal scent, you can apply more. And then if you want an atomic profile, atomic CH, let's go. we we'll go back to the video. And for the master level, you will add some agarwood chips wood on your clothes to smell good. So if you have shimmer, you can put... As you have probably seen, you know, if you have traveled in the Middle East, it is a beautiful combination of everything. Now you are ready. Well, I think we have talked about everything. We have summarized everything. Keep it simple. Everything around wood, what is wood, etc., etc. How to wear wood if you are a beginner or wood lover. Combination of dinner wood with wood for scent in a perfect way. So uh, do make sure to uh, like and subscribe. We'll put two video up there so you guys can keep watching and hopefully learn more about perfumes i hope you have enjoyed this video and see you soon inshallah for the next video assalamu alaikum peace be upon you everyone